Hello guys. Kamu? Hello, hello. Hello, Ya. Yeah. Yuta, are you okay now? Not quite. Oh. I just don't want to miss the revision. That's why I joined. Okay, okay. Jason, Leo, um, Teresa, Henry, Sarah, I'm finding and Vicky is in, 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 in what? Sorry. Right? Why, why, why? Can I turn off that? Yo, okay, okay. Okay, guys, for exam, you guys have to check up to, you guys have to check up to unit 16. Okay, only up to 16. I have checked with the other teacher as well. Um, for today, we are going to start 16. Then coming the following week, uh, we are going to do revisions only. Is it okay? Oh. Yeah. Okay, so guys, are you ready? This uh, SM is a uh, unit 1 to 16. Yes, 1 to 16. Okay? Hmm. Okay, so today we are going to start unit 16 as well. 17 teacher start our whole. Our 17 are many reading low tare. Kanali jetabio a 16 in it all I mean. No, but so 16 but then I am so you know. I have steady up to unit 10. Cool. Yeah, so you need to do only six more unit, right? Yeah. No? Okay, guys, uh, no worries not. We are going to practice together. Uh, come in coming week. So, uh, so first of all, for unit 16, I would like to sh uh, show you the YouTube video. So please pay attention to that video. Okay, later after that, I'm going to make you guys into group. You guys have to read the article together and answer the question together. But I think uh, almost all of the, you know, uh, story is explained in that YouTube video. So please pay attention to that link, no, to the video. So are you ready? Okay, let me share the video. Wait. On December 24th, 1971, Lanza Flight 508. Can you hear and can you see everything? Yes. Okay, let's go. On December 24th, 1971, Lanza Flight 508 from Lima to Pucapa, Peru was struck by lightning. Now considered the deadliest lightning strike in aviation history, it caused a crash that ultimately led to the demise of everyone on board, except for one 17-year-old girl. Today we're going to explain how Juliana Kopka survived a plane crash and 11 days alone in the Amazon. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the Weird History channel, and while you're at it, leave a comment and let us know what stories of survival you would like to hear more about. Okay, we go to the skies over Peru. Kopka's hazy, disjointed recollections of the flight and the crash are nothing short of pure nightmare fuel. It was the day after her senior prom and just a few hours after her high school graduation ceremony. She was flying with her mother between Pucapa and Lima so they could celebrate with her father. Along the way, the plane encountered a storm. The sky became pitch black all around them and lightning was constantly flashing outside the windows. While her mother was concerned, Juliana, who loved to fly, didn't think much of it. Suddenly, there was a bright light on the wing, and her mother said, Now it's over. The engine roared. People screamed. The plane plunged sharply towards the ground and began to break apart. Juliana's mother was thrown from her seat. Finally, Juliana, along with her seat bench, was sucked from the fuselage and out into the sky. Kopka says she felt a calming wind as she plummeted toward the thick forest canopy, which she later recalled as resembling green cauliflower or broccoli. Her seat, which she was still belted to, rotated like a helicopter blade. 
She suspects this may have played a role in slowing her descent and that the seat itself must have cushioned her fall. Yeah, think about that the next time a flight attendant reminds you to buckle up. Juliana blacked out before impact and due to a concussion, she retains no memory of the next 20 hours or so. She suspects she must have awakened during this period and removed her seatbelt because it was off by the time she fully regained consciousness. It was 9 a.m. the morning after the crash, a fact she could tell thanks to her watch, which at this point was still functioning. It was also pouring rain. Kopko was soaking wet, dirty, and partially underneath her seat bench. She crawled fully under it to escape the rain while she regained her strength. According to Kopka, I couldn't really feel anything. It was like being wrapped in cotton balls. With a lot of effort, I could only get up on my knees, and then everything turned black again. It would be a full day and a half before she was able to get up and walk. Juliana could tell her collarbone was badly broken. It was a sharp break that was overlapping beneath her skin, but luckily had not punctured through. She also had a deep laceration on her calf, but because she was in shock, it wasn't bleeding too much. Another cut on her arm had become infected with maggots. She feared that this might mean the arm would eventually have to be amputated, but at this point, there was nothing she could do about it. Doctors would later discover she also fractured her shin, strained her vertebra, and tore her ACL. Likely due to the effects of adrenaline, she didn't feel any of those things until much later, after she had reached a hospital. Once she felt strong enough, Juliana forced herself to her feet. Most people would probably be terrified to find themselves alone and injured in the middle of a jungle, teeming with snakes, crocodiles, and all manner of poisonous flora and fauna. But Juliana Kopka had a very unique childhood. Her mother, a world-renowned ornithologist, and her father, a famous zoologist, worked at a research station in, would you believe it, a Peruvian rainforest. Yes, Juliana had been raised in a very similar area and her familiarity with the types of terrain was a major factor in her survival. It also meant she never became overly afraid of her situation. Kopka herself mused, I learned a lot about life in the rainforest, that it wasn't too dangerous. It's not the green hell that the world always thinks. No, Juliana wasn't afraid for herself. She was afraid for her mother. Once she was able, Kopka began to scout the area immediately around her crash site for other survivors and resources. She was careful to leave a trail since she knew how easy it was to get lost in the jungle. On the fourth day after the crash, she heard a sound she recognized as a king vulture landing in the forest. She knew from her ornithologist mother that this particular type of vulture only landed when carrion, or rotting flesh, was in the immediate vicinity. Following the sound, she discovered the remains of three other passengers. Still strapped to their seats, they had impacted the ground with such force that they were buried three feet deep with only their feet remaining visible. One of the victims was a woman, and Kopka initially feared it might be her mother. However, poking her with a stick, she was able to discern that the woman had painted toenails, which her mother did not. During those first few days, Kopka would occasionally hear the sounds of rescue planes overhead. Because the forest canopy was so thick, she wasn't able to see them, and more frustratingly, she could not get their attention. Eventually, the sounds of the planes disappeared, and she realized they were no longer searching for survivors. She would later describe these as her most hopeless moments, and she realized she would have to rely on herself if she was going to escape the rainforest alive. Finding water was as simple as licking droplets off leaves, but finding food was no easy task. She didn't have the tools necessary to fish or hack at edible stems and roots, and she knew a great deal of what else grew in the rainforest was poisonous. Though it wasn't much, Kopka had been lucky enough to discover a bag of candy near where she landed. That candy would be her only sustenance, and she rationed it carefully, eating just a couple of pieces each day. Once it was gone, she experienced extreme hunger. At one point, Juliana briefly considered trying to catch and eat some wild frogs she had spotted, but discovered she was too weak and slow to get them. This ultimately turned out to be a good thing, since she later learned they were venomous dart frogs that likely would have ended her. Juliana searched the area she landed in for other survivors, but she didn't find any. She did, however, find a small well. It reminded her of some advice her father had given her as a child. He told her if she was ever lost in the jungle, she should follow the water sources to find rescue. The idea was that each tiny stream would lead to a bigger one, and eventually to one big enough to be a water source for potential rescuers. Juliana has stated that had she found other survivors, she probably would have stayed put and waited with them. In hindsight, she realized that likely would have cost her her life. Without anyone else to wait with, she decided to start at the well and follow the water. So, research shows that 70% of startups offer some remote work and they prefer hiring virtual...
progress was slow and difficult. Kopka was wearing only a short sleeveless mini dress, which made the nights very cold for her. Her watch had also stopped working, which meant she had to keep a close eye on the sun to tell time. She was also missing a shoe, which was particularly worrisome given that she knew there were snakes that liked to camouflage themselves among the leaves on the forest floor. Complicating things even further was the fact that she had also lost her glasses in the plane crash. Taken together, all this meant that she had to constantly use her remaining shoe to probe the path ahead of her before she could take even one step. Eventually, the creek she was following became deep enough to walk in. Despite the fact that Kopka could see crocodiles slipping in and out of the water, she knew they seldom bothered humans and that by traveling by water was ultimately safer than traveling by land. As she followed the water, Kopka noticed that the way was often blocked by logs, a sign that the area wasn't well traveled and might not lead her to rescuers. Blocking these discouraging thoughts out, Juliana continued on. Then on the 10th day after the crash of Lanza Flight 508, Kopka spotted a boat. At first, she thought she was hallucinating, but she moved toward it and found herself actually able to touch it. Once she determined the boat was real, her adrenaline kicked in. Near the riverbank where she spotted the boat, Kopka saw a path leading up into the forest. Assuming her rescuers had gone in that direction, she tried to make her own way up the path. By this point, she was so weak she could only crawl. Even worse, the maggots that had infected the cut on her right arm were causing her intense pain as they tried to burrow further into the wound. Luckily, at the top of the path, she came across a small hut that had a can of gasoline in it. She recalled that in her childhood, her father had used kerosene to treat a dog who had a similar wound. Juliana sucked the gasoline from the can and applied it to her wound. The pain was intense but it worked. She removed 30 maggots herself. Her rescuers would later remove another 50, but thanks to this quick thinking action, she never had to lose her arm. With no one else in sight, Kopka tried to sleep in the hut under a tarp, but found the ground too hard. She returned to the riverbank and spent the night there. In the morning, she returned to the hut. This time, she was discovered by three Peruvian men. They were confused by her presence and frightened by her bloodshot eyes and blonde hair. Kopka later explained, they believe in all sorts of ghosts there, and at first they thought I was one of these water spirits called Yimana. They are blonde, supposedly. Luckily, Juliana spoke fluent Spanish and was able to explain her situation to them in their own language. The next day, these men took her downstream in their boat to a nearby town where she was able to get treatment at a local hospital. Juliana was the only survivor of Lanza Flight 508, but it's interesting to note the crash almost claimed one more. Film director Werner Herzog was almost on the flight but a last minute change in plans caused him to cancel his reservations. Inspired by this twist of fate, he would later create the documentary, Wings of Hope, to tell the incredible tale of Juliana Kopka's survival. Do you think you could survive what Juliana did? Let us know in the comments below, and while you're at it, check out some of these other videos from our weird history. I hope you guys got the, you guys understand the story, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Even though you don't know some of the word, but you, you yeah. understand the story, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, any yeah, questions yeah. so far? Um, so what about the last question, guys? So I want to ask you the last question. What do you think? Uh, can you survive like uh, Juliana? Definitely no. not. Definitely uh, not. No. I would Definitely die in the first day. You would die in the first day. Why do you think so? I I, I would lose all motivation to do anything. be able to survive. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. So any idea? If you I think you all. can, yeah. Sorry. Because I eat all can be burned. Oh, on the first day you will eat all. Okay then. <laughs> They say you die, lah. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Uh. Okay, guys. Uh. Any idea? No. The moment if I was her, if I see any types of bugs on me, I I, I would just you know I, I would just commit. <laughs> okay. So guys, what about Koi Swan? Do you think you can survive in that situation, bro? I don't think so. <laughs> So have you ever watched the film uh, Jungle? I think I have mentioned once before, right? Have you already mm -hmm. watched it? Try to watch it. It's just like, uh, you know, just like that. 
So you know uh the Harry Potter well I forget his name. What is his name? Harry Potter. Yeah, you guys should like watch Tarzan. Huh? It's not Tarzan, it's all about the jungle. Yeah, that also uh, like a boy from a plane crash oh, just mean, survive in the forest. Mean, no, no, uh, for like Tarzan, I think it's not the real one, right? It's kind of like, a, how can I say? It's a fiction, right? Yes. Yeah, I, I like Tarzan, but I don't like, uh, when I was here, I used to watch the Tarzan, right? But now I like to watch like the real one that based on the real story, no? I did check your jungle, you should to get real story, no? No? So I really uh, suggest you to watch the jungle, the jungle. So I'm gonna share you some, wait. Uh, the jungle book called the jungle. The jungle. The jungle. Yeah, I'm gonna show you through love. Yeah, this one. I was desperate to escape the well-worn path. Work, marriage, kids, not me. I wanted to experience the extraordinary, which is why I ended up in the jungle. This is my friend, Yossi Gim. Hey, good to meet you. Good to meet you too. I told my parents I'd be back in a year, but I don't think I'm ever going back. There's nothing like the jungle at night. Insects, birds, it's like they're screaming at you. And then suddenly, it's just you and whatever you came looking for. Do you want to be like every other tourist? Anybody can go to Machu Picchu, but the jungle, this guy can take us there. How do you know that Carl is telling the truth? That's why you're here, the hidden world. Perfectly balanced. The problem is us with the cancer. Carl, what are you doing? The only guy what? who knows where we are and what we're going to do, and he just walked away. Carl, stop! Follow oh, the right. river! Yeah, you better watch that one too. No, yeah, I've watched it. Yeah, I've watched it. It's very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I recommend you to watch that one. It is. It is also a true story. No, I came up by the Indian thing. I got the yellow cup. Yeah, go. Hey, how did you got the other side? Did you teach it to the name Jaro? No, so I usually teach it to have your Wikipedia, my to have your story. Well, you got you like, yeah, no. Okay, so I think, yeah. I'm gonna get the nightmare. Why? Why? That's not a nightmare. It can be real. Oh. Huh? That also could be real. I'm scared of N. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So, guy, um, I think you already got the story right. You understand the story right? Yeah? Okay, so it's time to read the story in your textbook. Let's go and read uh page number one two six okay please go to page one two six julia kopka right so you guys have to read this one actually you already know the story but read it here 
no it's on page one to six okay uh then uh please try to walk on number two and three okay you guys need to find these words and phrases in their review and try to work out their meaning from the contents. Now, so try to find out the meaning. Uh, if you are not sure, you can use dictionary. Okay, you can search in the dictionary and work on that. So after that, you read the test again and answer these all questions. But I'm gonna make you guys into group. You can discuss in group. Okay, first try to read it, then try to share the story. No, so how they write in a review. So I think this is kind of like the summary one, right? If they just summarize the story, right? So read it then, try to work on two and three. Is it possible? Yeah? Is it okay, guys? Yes. Okay, so try to work on that. So let me make into group. Huh. Okay, so why waiting down? So please uh, read it by yourself. Now, we just have to read it, right? Yeah, just need to read it. Yeah, I we actually we have already done watching the story in a YouTube. So for now, you have to read page what page one to say, right? Uh, is that correct, guys? Yeah, you have to read page one to say no, my wait. Yes, sir. So like in vocabulary, like we need to do it in group, right? Yeah, you have to do it in a group. But now, please try to read the story. Oh, okay. Uh, Vicky, uh, actually, we are talking about the story now, Mai. So it's on page one to say you can read it now. Why I'm trying to contact school to make me post. No? So wait a moment, guys. If you can search the vocabulary, uh, uh, the words, yeah, you can do. No, later on you can you can share with your friends. Wait.
Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna make you guys in in group now. So this all together, 21, right? 21. So guys, can you drop me your preferable uh, minutes? How many minutes do you want for a discussion? 10 minutes? 10 or 15? Okay, I'm gonna give you 15 now. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Hello, check. Can you send me to room one? Um, I lost the connection.
You also, you just join now, please. By the way, where is James? Yeah, I forget him. <laughs> uh, where is James? You also, Koi Mensa, any any info? I don't know, Jay. He uh he, he said like his father went to Yango for a while. So he just stayed up in Kalo. Oh. Okay, if you got all of the answer recently, if you have discussed everything in group, if you done everything in group recent, you thought I think Jamie is missing you, no? <laughs> huh? So uh, yesterday he didn't see you, then today he 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 take a leave, no? Huh? I don't know what happened. <laughs> okay, so what about Omnia, Sosana, Lindsay, Na, Yuta? What about you guys? Done all? Nah. Most of this time. Most of. Okay, so let's find out together now. Okay, so. um. Okay, so I uh, do I need to explain this one in detail, guys? No, you don't need to. Okay, before we talk about the story, let's try to walk on vocabulary first. No, okay. So if you understand the vocabulary, we can we can understand the story well. Okay, so first of all, I would like to know about this one. <clears throat> The explosion, right? An explosion. So, guy, can you give me the uh, definitions of that word? You guys can yeah. draw your idea in chat, please. Private or public? Huh? To everyone? No, uh, group by group. Not all, just one from each group. Room one, room two, room three, you can put like room one la room two la like this, no? I don't remember our room now. Yeah, you don't remember. Okay, I'm gonna no, tell you one. now. Wait. Okay, for from room one, uh in room one, sorry, in room one. There is Sabrina, Lianta, Ivy, Jesse, Paulinda, and Luke. Now you guys are in room one. Okay, for room two, uh, Libye, uh, uh, pre uh, Precious, sorry, Precious, Henry, uh, Koi Suan, and Vicky, no? And for three, uh, Min Suan, Pai Min Ken, Sarah, Grace. In room four, Sosa, Na, Yuta, uh, Ikari, Rukori, Lindsay, Nai, and Teresa. Okay, got it? So you better type like R1, R2, R3, just like that, no? So, okay, uh, it's from room two. Yeah, I sent a loud bars like a, like a bone. Yeah, is that, I can't read it. Something is covering here. Got it. How can I? Okay, uh, room two, something such as a bomb exploding. Blowing up, yeah. Violet shatter or blowing up of something. Okay, great. So, I don't know what you have to do with the power of No, I'm not going to highlight the logo. Now, you know, I'm going to clear it. I'm going to be able to recover the power of the power of the power of the power of the Not really, right? Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, okay. Uh, for number two, strap to her seat. Strap to her seat. 
Omya ye, please pay attention to the vocabulary now, Mari. Okay, number two. Yeah, it's me. Tie to her seat. Lock into a seat. Okay. Tie to her seat. Yeah. Or. It's from room four. Yeah, locked into a seat too. Yeah. Question with the seat belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Then number three, stop to our seat me. Oh, I chair of Gaba Mali, Baladale. Papa Bada, no, Pagamla, no, Lady Boma, uh, Lady Boyang and Lecherua, seat belt, or chair, ho, around, you are Okay, then next one, she lost consciousness. She lost consciousness. Lost consciousness me. She lost her mind and she doesn't know anything. Yeah, okay. She lost her mind. Yeah. Consciousness means she can't aware of anything, right? She lost everything in life. She can't concentrate. I mean, like, yeah. She course, fainted. She lost her mind. Yeah. No, Bama, I think you will machine your arm. No, if you did, she fainted. Doesn't remember anything. Yeah. Okay, then next number four, she came around, came wrong, came wrong. Yeah, fainted. Yeah, just like that. Fainted meaning cannot me. No, okay, then uh she came wrong. Why? What is it? Came wrong me becomes conscious. Mm -hmm. she, she woke up. She she yeah. She gained her consciousness again, yeah. She looked around, uh, looked around at the places next to her. Yeah. Okay, she, number five. Yeah, she woke up. Yes, correct. Uh, cats and bruises. Injury. Yeah. Correct. Injury. Mm -hmm. Okay. Too long, the Jamara Baisan, Bama Lumia. No, by the way, I'm a quick help, you know. I can't even think of it. Okay, then uh, she got injured and have, yes, yes, yes. I don't know what I'm talking about. Cats are a little bit of a problem. 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 And then the basic color bone at the bone underneath the neck. Okay, the bone that ran horizontally. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna read up. Between the top of the stirrup and breast bone and the shoulder blade. Yes. Nyayure. Is that nyayula? No, I don't think so. It's not nyayu, no, right? It's not nyayu. Benamale, piatibao. Do we benamale? Diamala, no? How do I know? No? Um, English, so, hey, you live for a sexy kid, right? Shall be all it. Might not do what you. No, anyway, mo, I don't get how they, why do we marry them to you? Yeah, it's kind of like sexy ball, no? Oh, the truth is, yeah, why, why, I don't get why, no? I don't live for a so much like, you can't do what she did, no? Okay, anyway, no, eh, number seven, please, survivor, what is survivor? People who could survive, right? Uh, someone who stay alive, yes. Yeah, remain alive, yes. A person who remains alive after an accident or, yeah, after a dangerous situation. Yes, yes, correct. A person who continues to live or exit experiencing difficult, yes. A person who survived an awful event, yeah. A person who, uh, okay, great. And next one, uh, eight, survivor instinct. Ability to survive. Yes, correct. Do you think you have that kind of instinct? Maybe. Maybe some situation can force you to become a survivor instinct, no? Sometimes, no? 
ဟုတ်တယ်မလားနောက်တစ်ခုခုထိခိုက်ပဲနားကျင်မယ်ခုတစ်ခုခုဖြစ်ခုကိုရင်ဖြစ်တာဟုတ်လူဆိုတာက
Okay, for number five, uh, room two again. For number six, room one, please. <coughs> Lima, not Ampat, Lima and Peru. So here, Lima mean like number five, no? Indonesia ma Lima sa number ngao, dura. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what was the plane destination? Eh? So it is Lima. Why did the plane come down? Eh? It was hit by lightning. Yeah, correct. Uh, for number three, how high was the plane flying? The plane was flying 3,000 meters above the Peruvian rainforest. Okay, and number four, lightning strike. Yes, correct. Is that strike or strike? Strike little, not like my strike little. I see I'm clean, no? Okay, anyway, um, How many people were traveling on the plane? 92 passenger, no? And five, where did Julian land? Ninety-two. She was in the forest for ten days, yeah. Okay, great. She was there for like 10 days. I think it's quite easy, right? Huh? Yeah. Okay, it's time to listen to track 30. So before we do 30, um, Yeah, guy, could you read this one? Read the article, who were the 33 and why did they become famous? Please. Would you like to work in group or individually? One, two, eight, you have to work on number two as well, number three as well, no? One, read, read the article and then two and three. Um, I think in group is better. Okay, if you want to walk in group, you can type G in the chat. Or if you want to walk individually, I please. G so wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yo, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten, 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 yeah. Yo, no, sir, it's not. Yes, ten, ten. Plus one, luckily, one left the group. Yeah. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those are reserve Korea Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I don't know. So it's up to you. Yeah, individually lah. So this time individually. Okay, so let's do individually. Later you guys can check in group. Is it better, right? Yeah. Try it yourself, then you can check the answer with friends, okay? Yeah.
Ah, you need to read the article on page. Yeah, you need to read the article, this one, on page one to eight. And then do number two, number three, please. If you don't, uh, I'm going to check on coming uh, Monday, no? So the whole week, we are going to practice. Now, I, I will try to finish 16. And also, uh, we are going to do revision, no? Janaya, dear, I'll show revision. Look, man, sorry, to see how we are, Ima. Sorry, Jay, I'm a baby, 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 I'm Sure. Yes. There will be class tomorrow. Tomorrow is a holiday. Lee. Would you like to join my class? Okay, thanks. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> If you wish, you can take that extra class. It's fine, Chair. No, no, thanks. You can take no, it. No, no, no. Are you guys dancing? No, 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 no. Chair, it's very tiring for you, Chair. Uh, why? Yeah, yeah, for me as well, actually. No? No worry. If even you request me, I won't. No? We have also two class tomorrow. Oh, really? Why? Yes. Really? Why? Sex Why? and bio. Yeah, DJ yeah, is the no class. Yes. No worry for me, no class. Holiday is holiday, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. You are the best. <laughs> Yes, me either, right? The mama, I pay my yet to pay so. You man, I get pay my yet to pay so. No, the chair be assignment in low ya. Never chair supervise on it that we are. No, to all them out.
You die. If you want to take a rest now, you cannot die. It's okay. Yeah, I'm almost yeah. finished. Yeah, yeah. If, if you want to take, yeah, you can. What time you guys need to join the classes tomorrow? Only in the morning, right? 8.30 So three classes you need to join? Only, no, only two, two, two. two. Morning and Afternoon. Yeah. Actually, it should be in the morning now. Right? After this class, we yeah, have to yeah. do the physics class. Yeah, Julia. Yeah. yeah. They should. They should have a like class in the morning. Continuously, then you guys can rest continuously, right? Actually, yeah. I'm of you, no? <laughs> I'm just thinking. I'm just sharing my opinion. Yeah, me too. So being sick, like I get more sleep. Of course, uh, yeah. You felt flu, uh, like it's like one week or two weeks, like that. No, I don't like the taste of medicine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, mine is like only one day and it disappeared. Just one day because you're yeah. you a good resistant. Ma. Yeah, I vomited twice. Mm -mm. Then got a fever. The next day, I was fine. Yeah. It depends on your resistant. Now, go below our counter, counter, but one day we did scalp or bar. And I'm a good dog. We had a nip in it. You're out. I can feel you guys now, so that is why I told you holiday is a holiday. Now you should have your me time as well. Now take a fully rest. Try to finish it in, in class more so that you, you can you don't need to take it as a whole more no? And how about checking in group? Maybe we can do on coming Monday, no worries, my no? Oh okay. Yeah. We are going to finish chapter this chapter on coming Monday. Then start from Tuesday. We are going to do revision now for the whole week. So later than uh, I think your exam is in the following week week right? Huh? it's on twenty nine. Huh? twenty nine thirty thirty.
look, uh, you have to read the article, right? Then try to understand the article as much as you can. Then uh, if you think uh, you understand the article, read the sentences here, okay? So which paragraph in the article does each sentence complete? So you need to figure out this one, okay? After you have done this one, you can continue number three. So they provide you the question, but according to the test, you need to make the uh, eight questions. Okay, you can try as much as you can. If you don't get it, yeah, you can skip some, no worries, no? We can work together, no? The very important thing is that try to understand the 33, the article first, no? We only loved this one, right? Use of English. Uh, on coming Monday, we're gonna check this part and I'm gonna do this one, use of English. And yeah, survival kits. We are going to learn the vocabularies on survival kits. And that is all finished, right? I'm starving. Mm. Uh, could you please finish it off at home? Actually, it is not a homework, but please try to finish it off at home. <laughs> no? I won't say that it is homework, but you need to finish it at all. Okay, is it okay, guys? Teacher, yeah. uh, you mean the reading? Yeah, reading and number two and number three. You need to finish it at home. Then coming Monday, I'm gonna make group. You guys can uh talk about. I mean, like you guys can share about your answer. Now share me. Not not giving all of the answer. No, I mean like checking together. No. So later after that, uh, we are going to walk in the whole class. Okay, so got it? <clears throat> okay, you don't get worse or not. Uh. Okay, take care, guys. All of you, please do take care now because the, the exam is drawing near, right? So, yeah. Okay, so see ya, see ya guys. Bye-bye. Have a good holiday. Bye-bye. I think so. Bye-bye. Yeah. Adios. Yeah.